Hello everyone. I'm going to show you how to get a custom profile for uh, the paper uh, for uh, whenever you print. It's not a difficult thing to do and it will enhance uh, all of your prints. Now the, the two papers that I've decided to, to move to is from Paper Spectrum. So here we've got a, a Brita type paper and uh, the, the rag paper. Uh, it's, there's two different types of paper. Uh, the Brita, uh, I'll use that there most of the, the time. It's my go-to paper and it's a semi-gloss paper. Fantastic uh, for general usage. Now, whenever uh, you've got a, a print or uh, an image that you want, you want to enhance it that, that little bit more, uh, the choice of paper makes a massive difference. And that's where uh, the rag paper is going to be. It's a smooth paper, however, uh, there, there is a, a texture in that there particular paper. But the first thing we're, we're going to cover is uh, how you go about uh, getting a custom profile. Yes, you can use uh, the profiles that comes with the paper from wh whatever source you get them from. And that's great. Uh, they'll work. However, you've went to the effort of getting that there shot. You want to print it out and you want to make the best uh, print job that you possibly can. Uh, so these here is the, the target charts. Uh, this here is the one it's from uh, Paper Spectrum. There's two charts. You print them out on the type of paper that uh, you're going to be uh, getting the custom profile done. Has to be the right type of paper or else it's not going to work. So once you get the, these printed out, you send them away to whatever, whatever manufacturer you're going to be using. In this case, as I said, I'm moving over to Paper Spectrum. They've got a fantastic range of papers, uh, which we'll, we'll show you uh, later on as well. But the first thing I'm going to now show you is how to, to set up the target to get it printed. Because there's a few uh, bits that it's not very clear uh, that you need to be able to make sure that nothing's, uh, your printer isn't colour managing uh, the, the, the print. Because then that there would mess it uh, all up. Uh, it wouldn't work because then it's your printer that's actually uh, doing the colour management. So first of all, we'll uh, show you how to uh, get uh, that target. Now before we go uh, in to show you how to uh, print off the, the colour targets, I'm going to quickly go through Paper, uh, paper Spectrum's uh, website. You may you may have come across it before. Uh, I, I normally get my uh, mountain boards from there. For once I do a print, I also uh, like to mount uh, the print myself. Now, as you can see here, uh, it's, uh, on the web, website, all of the different things that Paper Spectrum does, uh, papers, mounting boards, and they even do uh, colour cartridges as well. So depending on your printer, uh, you may be able to get everything here uh, that you ever need. Now, it's, this here is the, it's the thing that we're going to be looking at, the ICC colour profiles. So as you can see, it's an idiot's guide. Uh, it's straightforward and simple on how you do it. Now, you can get generic ones, as I mentioned before. However, uh, it's getting a custom one is going to make it that little bit uh, more special and work out exactly for your printer. So for the generic ones, you go there to get the paper that you, you want, you download it and install it. Once I get my custom ones from uh, Paper Spectrum, I'll also, uh, also show you be showing how to actually install it. It's not as difficult as a lot of people think. Right, so let's just go backwards. And it's the papers, uh, different types of papers. Now it's the pinnacle range of papers that I'm going to be using. Now it's, there's loads of uh, different types of papers that you can. I mean, it's as I said, this here's uh, one of the papers that I'm, I'm planning on using because cert certain prints need certain papers just to just enhance them a little bit more and it'll be a little uh, more special uh, for you as well. So that's everything's everything's here. Let's bring that up a little bit. So out there's the 
the premium textured rag paper. It is a smooth paper, however, there is a little bit of texture in there. Uh, it's not too much, not as nowhere near as much as a, a German etching uh, paper. So it'll be interesting to see what, uh, what it comes out like once I get my custom ones. Now the others, the other paper that I say that I'm going to be using, as I said, there's loads of different uh, different ones, more, more than more than you'll probably ever need. I stick to two or three uh, types of paper, and it does to me personally. It does make that little bit uh, of a difference choosing uh, the right paper. Uh, it's where's the one that I'll be using most of the time. Yep, the premium uh, silk bur burrata. So that's the the paper itself, and uh, most of my images are going to be uh, printed out with this particular paper. So that there's the website, definitely worthwhile uh, having a look at if you've not done so already. And as I said, once we get the custom profiles, we'll see we'll see exactly how good uh, the paper is. Uh, it's I've been using other makes of paper. There, there's no. It's like anything in this world, you pay for what you get. And yes, you can get cheap papers, and yes, they, they do an okay job. However, uh, I always like if you spent the money on the camera, you spent a lot of money on uh, the equipment, including your printer. Ink is not uh, cheap, so not much point. And going to the final part by not using uh, a decent quality paper. Now, what we're going to do now then, as I said, is look at the, the profiles. These here are the two charts. So that's the, the target charts as I, I call it. Now it's Adobe Color Print Utility. That there's, that's what I'm going to be using. Now it's, the setup of this here is pretty straightforward. So I'll go to where my charts are. Now it's, as I said, the type of paper that you want in the ICC custom profile for it has to be printed uh, on two the two charts, one in each sheet. It has to be the right uh, type of paper that you're the paper that you're going to be getting that profile uh, done for. Now this is pretty straightforward. As uh, I always change it to landscape. Now that that's there is the the simple part. However, this is where. You can't go wrong. This is this here's the the important parts. So it's photo paper we're using. A4. Now the the paper type that I'm using uh, is it's a matte finish. So let's have a look here. There we go. Now here here where it makes the the big big difference. So I just make sure you see that there color intensity manual adjustments. It's these manual adjustments that are the key thing in getting, making sure nothing's controlling uh, the color management of this here. It is important that we do it uh, properly. So what we want to do, instead of anything controlling it, it's none. Once you click none and change it to high, everything else is straightforward. And then all you need to do is hit OK. And that there is then going to print uh, out. Now, so I'm going to be changing these inks. Uh, I've ordered inks already. And I'll be changing them to inks. But there's enough there to, to get the two charts done. So then it's uh, just a case of getting the charts printed out and uh, sending them off. In this case, to Paper Spectrum. I imagine, because this is over Christmas, as uh, it'll be January before probably that I get them. But as soon as I do, I'll certainly be doing uh, how to install those uh, custom profiles and then seeing uh, the difference uh, of the, the custom profiles going to be uh, for, for my particular printer. So just waiting for the, the prints to happen. Now make sure there's two charts. There's a one and two. Make sure you do this, the same uh, process for both turning off a uh, color management that's the key thing uh, and all of this here so we'll wait until uh, we get those uh, 
profiles uh, it's emailed uh, from Colour Spectrum to me and then we'll pick this up again. Thank you for now. Well, a few days have passed and I've uh, just got my colour profiles back uh, from Paper Spectrum. Um, I'm really hoping uh, to, to see uh, the quality. I'm looking for what's on my screen uh, to uh, actual uh, the actual print itself. Now, any time that I do any printing, uh, well, I, I calibrate my screens once a month, regardless if I'm printing or not. So I like to, to keep on top of that there. There's loads of different calibration tools out there. The one I use is the Spider. They all do the, the same thing, but uh, it is really uh, necessary. If you're going to be doing printing, that your, your monitors uh, are calibrated. Another thing that I, I use any time that I touch paper is my, my cotton gloves. A few pounds fra, from Amazon. Because you know, when on your hands, you may have washed them. However, there's natural oils on there. And we don't want that there uh, getting onto the, the paper whatsoever. So it's, uh, it's the two papers that I got was one was the rag and uh, the brider that there is probably the one that i'm going to be using uh, the most now now that uh, i've got the profiles emailed to me from paper spectrum i'm going to, now going to show you how simple it is to actually uh, install them and then we'll uh, we'll finish off by uh, getting a print uh, done today so sit back and, and let me show you how simple it is to get them profiles installed. Once you've got your email with your colour profiles, uh, you save them wherever you wish. Uh, in my case, I've made uh, an ICC uh, profile for Paper Spectrum. And all I need to do then to install these uh, profiles, each one, click, highlight it, right click, install profile is that they're simple uh, to do. So there's no excuse uh, for never uh, going ahead, getting the, the right profiles for uh, your your printer. What I'm gonna do now then, open up in Photoshop and then see uh, what image I'm then going to print. Now this here's the, the image I've selected to, to do a print. What I'm gonna do is print this same image out uh, and both the types of paper so that you'll see uh, the differences as paper selection uh, is very, very important. I'm going to do it in A4 uh, so not to waste uh, my A3 sheets. So I've got the image here. Uh, it's, I always save uh, my image as a, as a TIFF and that's the way I'll be printing now. Normally, if, if you don't have a Canon printer, you just go to print and uh, this here is virtually the same. However, uh, with a Canon printer, you do, do get a uh, Canon software. As far as I'm aware, Epson, uh, they've got their own software as well. But it's pretty much uh, very, very uh, similar. Now, the important uh, factor is that we we set everything up uh, correctly. So this here is the, the image. Printer has to be selected. Uh, the type of paper... That has to be selected as well. Uh, it's because different papers, it's, it's all about the laying down of the ink. And A4 sheet. Now, if I didn't have a, a profile, then I would be using uh, something on here. However, we do have the, a profile for my actual printer. Loads of different ones there. As long as you know what one uh, is, is the paper that you're using, then that's fine. Now, relative and perceptual, that's all about uh, the colour gamut. Now, nine times out of ten, I'm, I'm wanting to, to get uh, the same as my screen, even though it's an Adobe screen. Uh, it's relative. That, what that'll do is that'll get it as close to that particular colour gamut. I mean, being quite honest with you, you'll be hard pushed uh, to notice a, a massive difference, unless... Uh, you've got very, very strong colours, uh, reds and things like that there. So for this one here, uh, it's relative. Now, enable soft proofing. 
I don't know if you can see that, but around this area here. Now, with the paper that I've chosen, you can see uh, there's a slight difference around the base of the lighthouse as well. But that's to do with the type of paper that I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is get this uh, image printed off twice on different types of papers, and then you'll see uh, the differences. So I'll be as back, uh, be back uh, very, very soon. Well, both the, the prints are done. Uh, I thought it a A4 uh, variety of paper. However, it was uh, the A3 that I got. So the first print, uh, is really, really happy with that there. Uh, it's it's matching the colours. Now, bear in mind the type of paper. Uh, so this here's a, the rag paper. Bit of texture uh, on there. And you can see uh, you can see the the difference. You know, I mean, whenever you're up close to it, and just for comparison, uh, the brighter paper. You know, I mean, this is the one that uh, type of paper that I'll probably be using uh, the most. As I say, is get the gloves on. We we don't want uh, to ruin uh, any of the prints that we do. So you know. It, from beginning to end, getting the, the targets printed out, sending them off to Paper Spectrum, installing the, the profiles, fairly, fairly simple, and then getting the finished product. I always think, personally, uh, getting uh, getting a print of an image that you do you do, do enjoy uh, just adds that little final uh, bit to it. So, I mean, these here prints, on one that uh, the A4, I'll be giving that there away to someone. But the A3, I'm quite happy with that there. So that there will be actually going up uh, in my house. Now, it's, I do do quite a few prints uh, throughout the year. And I'm glad now that I've got uh, a paper, uh, well, two types of paper at the moment that I've been using that I'm really, really happy with. Uh, there's loads of different papers out there. And definitely, uh, Paper Spectrum, I'll definitely be using them. It's great to have a... A UK based company uh, and whenever you you phone paper spectrum up they're always happy uh, they're always happy uh, to listen and help you out as much as you you can so hopefully uh, you've enjoyed this here and got something uh, to take away from here if you've got a printer definitely look at getting uh, a custom profile for your printer thank you for watching